Well, well, well. Hi, Vic. Is that a tier two in the chat? Dude, my voice is so cooked still. <clears throat> I gotta grab my water. Hi, Vic. And I have a good reason why I didn't go live yesterday. And it's not because I hate chat. It's because I despise chat. Got him. Wait, I can upload video- Okay. I can upload videos to Twitch Stories. What's the max length? I can upload my Tic Tacs to Twitch Stories now. Hmm. Peace out to Guys, new tweet. Go like it so everybody knows that I'm live. Please and thank you. Guys, who's excited for today's stream? Type 1. Type 2 if you're a hate watcher. Man, I'm getting so many TikToks of people just like trauma dumping on the timeline. Like, come on. I think the problem is I just watch all the videos through and that's why it keeps recommending them. Could, maybe it's my fault. No, there's no comments on Instagram stories. That's so bad. Oh, that's so bad. Disable that right now. Turn off commenting. Thank God. Oh my God. I swear I get the meanest comments on IG Reels. That's why, if anybody's curious, you have to be a follower of my account to leave a comment. It's kind of like if we leave the Twitch chat open to everybody, we're going to get some... Bullies. Wait, I need to disable comments on my main account now. Wait, how would I disable comments? Go to story settings. Wait, no. Maybe... I think it's because, like, on my Clips account, I opt into beta functions, so maybe that's a beta function. Anyway, face came on in one minute. I'm not even kidding. Answer, yes. Wait, you are a hate watcher? I knew it. You comment on my IG reel so quick. You got noties on? Hi, Tooth. Can we get some... Yo's? Hello. Oh, the title? Did the fame change me? Oh, famous in quotes because it's obviously a joke. Do y'all think I'm famous? Y'all think I got like reach like that? I don't think so. But if you guys want me to be famous, nominate me for Hidden Gem, guys. Hashtag peace in for Hidden Gem. I just spat on my monitor. <laughs> Oh no. Also, I got three fall or two followers when I was offline yesterday. That's kinda huge. Yeah, can we get peace in hidden gem trending, please? Thank you. Three, two, one. Ad should be done. It works. Hello. Good morning, good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well today. It is Wednesday. Yeah, it's Wednesday. August twenty eighth. August is almost over. Face reveal? Man, I really scammed myself. I should have made it a milli subs. But hi, guys. We had Vic and Tooth in the starting soon screen. Welcome in, everybody. Um, I didn't go live yesterday. I feel like I always do this whenever I don't stream, when I plan on streaming. So yesterday, 
I woke up. Wait, I want. Okay, I watched the direct live. I usually don't watch it on my own. I either watch it with chat or like I watch a streamer react to it. Because, you know, I'm that like brain dead. But I watched it like live on YouTube. And let me just say. No spoilers or there will be spoilers. <laughs> it was lame. There was only like in the Nintendo because it was a 40 minute showcase. That had 20 minutes of indie games and then 20 minutes of Nintendo partnered games. So, like, big titles. There was only, I think, like, one new IP for the Nintendo partner section. And then the rest was, like, remakes or sequels. So, honestly, El Nintendo. I did more like Nintendo. <laughs> you know, everybody's made that joke, but it's always good. I wrote a list. Okay, so the list of games... I literally only wrote games that were on the indie section. These are ones that, like, I kind of want. Moth, Cubit, Spring 25, Coffee Talk Tokyo. I still need to play Tokyo Talk 2, or Coffee Talk 2. Sea of Stars DLC comes out in spring. I've had Sea of Stars on my wish list for a while, but maybe we'll save that for spring, whenever the actual DLC comes out. It's because Sea of Stars is a longer game, and I don't want to, like, commit to that, I'll be honest. Also, I know the music is low for some reason. The mixing in this comp is horrible. Anyway. And then I also put Morsels. Date Everything is finally on the Switch. I was going to get the PC version, but it's being ported to the Switch October 24th. And I bet, I remember I saw like a few clips of the game and it's like where you can literally date like one of the hundreds inanimate objects in the game. And honestly, I think it'd be really fun. And then the Plucky Squire. I don't know why i wrote that but yeah those were the games that i want to play and they literally will all were all in the indie showcase and like i said i decided to like watch it by myself i was laying in bed i had just woken up i told myself if i wake up in time to watch it live i want to watch it live i woke up at 6 50 and i was like shit i guess i can watch it live and it was honestly kind of nice like watching it in my bed because like the reason why I don't do React content as much anymore, for two main reasons, is because you don't necessarily own the content you're reacting to. Oh, actually, three reasons. And anytime I react to a Nintendo Direct, it always gets copyrighted on YouTube. Like, the music gets copyrighted. So then the whole VOD gets demonetized, and that's annoying. And then on the third reason is when you react to stuff on stream, people do not like if you're just... You know, you gotta, like, ham it up. And sometimes I don't feel like hamming it up. Do you have scheduled uploads? It depends on the platform. So YouTube is the only platform that I schedule short uploads. For my main TikTok account, I do schedule those a week in advance. But for everything else, I manually upload. We're getting that. I uploaded yesterday's shorts, like, late at, <laughs> like, 1 p.m. or something. Because after I watched the direct, it ended at, like, 7.45. I was like, shoot. My whole, like, daily schedule's messed up now, because I usually bike at 7, and then I wash up, and then I, like, get ready for, I edit, and then I stream at 10. So, I was like, shit, my whole day is messed up, I might as well, I can't do it, because anytime my schedule is, like, slightly off, it messes with my brain. And you know what, I think it's this. It's gotta be this. So, it got to 8, and I was like, shit, I, I can't do this. <laughs> I was like, I can't stream today. My brain, I can't. So I was like, you know, instead of streaming, my job today is going to be taking care of my body. Because, you know, if you're not working because you're disabled, your job is taking care of yourself. That's your job. That's literally your job. And that's how I'm trying to see it. So on days where I don't do work or I don't stream, I try to take care of myself. So that's either like self-care, exercising. And yesterday I had to make all my points because some of you guys know a good handful of them have been delayed because they're just not processing my referrals and paperwork. So I called every office and they were still like, oh, peace, and we didn't do it yet. Oh, yeah, we never got it. So I have to call again today and tomorrow to follow up on it again. I don't know. I don't, I don't understand how, like, faxing something is so fucking difficult. Like, these are people who have, like, doctorates. Like, what? Like, what's going on? Can they not, like, operate a fax machine? Like, I want them to do surgery on my brain, but they can't even fax something over? Like, what the hell? 
So that was yesterday. And that took literally all morning until noon. Because obviously, you're not going to talk to somebody right away. So I was on hold with each facility, like, for an hour. And then the whole time, I was, like, on hold. I was playing Poker Rogue. So anytime I did finally connect to the line, I'd have to, like, mute my computer. So they didn't know I was, like, playing Poker Rogue. And I posted this on Twitter and on YouTube. I got to level 80 in Poker Rogue. I was on an insane run. I think I finally know how to like game the system a little bit because it's all about luck and what items you get. And honestly, getting the map item is kind of crazy because the map chooses which biome you go to. And I thought the map was single use, but you can use the map throughout your entire run. So my two best runs, I got to run 80 and then run or level 80 and then level 55. And the strat that I found worked the best is to have at least one shiny in your team, which I have a shiny rock Pokemon. And then have as many versatile Pokemon as you can. Because once you get to the higher levels, all your Pokemon level up at around the same rate, basically. Yeah, the ones you battle with do level up a bit more. But once you get the item that balances the XP between your team to give lower Pokemon more XP than the higher level, it's crazy. So all your Pokemon will level at the same rate, basically. So you just have to make sure you have basically almost one of every Pokemon type. That way if you get... Like, any random biome or random Pokemon, you can face it. And, honestly, Pikachu is the GOAT, because Pikachu will always go first, basically, because they're so fast. Um, also, Meg Cargo is kind of huge. Meowth, I'm debating if I want to keep him, because, like, I don't use Payday as much anymore. But, I got to level 80. It, it was, like, an hour and a half run. It was crazy. But I was really happy. So, that was yesterday. And then after, like, at noon, I was like, shit, I don't want to do anything today. So then I just, I played more Pokerog, and then I edited some Tic Tacs, which I need to do, because I only got five left to post. But yeah, so that was yesterday. And you know what? I'm here today. The plan is simple. It's going to be a shorter stream, because I do have more things to do. Because since I didn't work yesterday, I got to work today. I got to go... I gotta go deliver paperwork to a doctor's office, so I got till 5 to do that. So today is gonna be a shorter stream. But do not worry, it's gonna be jam-packed full of content. Because <laughs> we do need to film this week's YouTube video. And I was gonna do something else today. It was either gonna be playing every single brain game to prove I'm smart. But we just did... Um, what you call it? We just did... The cognitive test. So we'll wait another week for that one. Can't you just send papers digitally? Yeah, but like they want to talk to me too. So. Because they were like, I called them this morning. And I was like, yeah, I turned my paperwork in. They're like, well, you need to still like come in and talk to like the person. And I was like, can I just talk to them on the phone? And they were like, actually, we can't do that. And I was like, how long is it going to take? And they were like, You'll only have to talk to them for, like, five minutes. And then I was like, it's going to take me a fucking hour to get there. And they are like, fuck you, bitch. No, they didn't say that. But, like, yeah, it's really annoying. Just because, like, I guess they don't want to talk about, like, super secret medical information on the phone. But it's uh, us talking about me taking fucking blood thinners. But they don't want people eavesdropping. You know, I love privacy laws. But I don't care. People can hear my shit. I don't care. I don't care. Anyway. So I gotta do that today. Plan is simple. It is August 28th. We got two days left of September. Tomorrow, we need to do another Mario Kart stream because I realized I've only played once this month. And then Friday. Friday. Surely, there will be new artwork available. Surely. Surely. <laughs> I don't know. My goal was to have something out every month. And then I was like, shit, August is almost over. Talking about art, guys. New artwork available soon on peace and art at myshopify.com. All the paintings you see back here are my original artwork. So click the link or bookmark my website. I'd appreciate it a lot. I also have the regular paintings along with lino prints, so stamp block prints. You can get colored or black and white versions if you want to color it yourself. Price ranges to get the whole collection, or you can get the singles, and if you purchase the singles, 
you do get a 10% chance of getting a holo. So guys, use code TWITCH10 for $10 off today. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Okay. Also, I feel like my voice is kind of fucked still. I I do think in stars and time, like, cooked me. Or maybe I'm just not sleeping enough. I don't know. I feel like she's been struggling in the past few days. I do really want to do another story, another story game, but she's not. She can't handle it. Okay, I did partially script out the intro to today's stream, and my sister thought it was like 60% funny. So if I don't get a single lull or kick W, I'm going to be very sad. You guys know the drill. Say hi, YouTube. This is probably going to be this week's video, because I think the little joke at the start makes sense to publish this week. Whew. You guys know the drill. Say hi, YouTube. <clears throat> okay <clears throat> it's been a few years now that i've been streaming and making youtube videos mainly just stream highlights but for the past year since august 26 2023 i've been editing weekly videos for youtube and you know what i didn't miss a single week yeah they were late one time or two times but i've done a si but i've done a whole year of videos and you know what? I've had fun. And, okay. <laughs> what is this? What is this? <laughs> okay. So, okay, I say so a lot. I need to stop saying so, um, okay. To commemorate that, today I'm going to be taking a personality quiz. I've been streaming for about three years now. And you know what? The rise has been slow and steady. We haven't seen a spike yet. But I think it'd be kind of till... But I think it'd be kind of cool to do a personality test every year to see if fame truly will change me. Right now, I have right now I have 264 subscribers on my main YouTube channel, about 1,600 on my Clips account on YouTube. I have about 1,600 on my Clips channel, and then my biggest following is on TikTok, which is 3,600. So you might, <laughs> so some might say I have a little bit of clout, but like not really. So. I should do this so the thing. So today we'll see if my personality will change over the fuck. I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. It's so hard. I need to they have those oh they have those like uh like teleprompter things you can attach to your camera. Should I get one? Should I? Also look how much like the skin the tone difference. It's kinda wild. Anyway, I got tan. Hate watcher, no! Okay. We'll compare to next year to see if I truly do change with fame. Unless I stay the same, then oh well. Guys, nominate Peace for Hidden Gem this year, please. We need it. Okay. You should get a tablet or something. You think that's in my budget to get another iPad? I was past the iPad generation, so I, I, didn't, I don't have access to that technology. Okay, this compilation's bad. I can't hear it. I'm removing this one from the playlist. An hour of summer vibes video game music. Or pull up your switch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we gotta do our Twitch vlog. This was recorded live over on twitch.tv slash peace and under... This was recorded live on peace and... Fuck. I can't. This is what happens when I don't click go live for a day. This was fi this this was filmed recorded. This was recorded live over on twitch.tv slash peace and underscore seventeen. So make sure you're following that we can hang out in future streams. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, I'm locked in. I am locked in. Hm. Wait, how'd you spell my at wrong? That's so cringe. Okay. Today, I have pulled up the 16 personalities website. You know, it's one of the more popular go-to sites for personality quizzes. It's not necessarily, like, medically acknowledged. It's, like, for fun, but also not really, you know? Okay. The main personality types are analysts. And for every single different larger branch, there's, like, more specific aspects. 
diplomats, you know, the big brain people, sentinels, everybody looks really smart in these pictures, and then explorers, okay, wait, I think I spoke too soon. <laughs> so those are the main personality types, and there's smaller branches within them. So in terms of what I know for sure I am, I know I'm introverted. Everything else, I don't know what I am. It's funny how many places ask you to give them your results for job applications. They do that to weed out the people who would not spend the 40, 30 minutes to do this. But I do, you know what? A lot of people don't realize your personality does contribute a lot to your, your job in terms of the hiring and then actual performance aspect. Because in most any work environment, you have to work with people. So you kind of got to get along with people. That's why if you're kind of awkward or if you're on the spectrum, it's really hard to, like, hold a job that relies heavily on any type of social interaction. So I think it's good to take these screenings by yourself to kind of learn a bit more about yourself. Okay. They want the purple ones. You know, not everybody can be a purple person because if everybody's an A personality type, then they're all just going to bat, bat heads, and that's not good either. They need some followers. I guess it depends on what job you're doing. So I'm going to be taking the free personality test. I don't know how long this is. If this is 10 minutes or an hour, I'm committing. So be yourself and answer honestly to find out your personality type. Learn how you personally type. Learn how your personality type influences many areas of your life. Okay, I got this. I really do love how they have the percentage bar at the bottom. It's like those YouTube videos where they put the little color banner when there's an ad. Okay, let's get started. You regularly make new friends. <laughs> no. But this goes like, I don't go out. I am I edit, I stream, I go on walks. I don't go, I don't have the money to go party yet. Oh, wait, I had an opening gag. I forgot. Editor, cut this to the previous part. Right now, my largest following is on TikTok, which is 3600 and currently in my bank account. I'm not even kidding. I have $70, which is my favorite number. I got $4 in my checking and like $12.99 in my... Oh, wait, I messed it up. And not even kidding, I only got $17 in my bank account. $4 in my savings and like $12.99 in checking. And it's wild because it's my favorite number. <laughs> I, it, this was not scripted. That's actually how much is in my account right now. And I'm not going to show it. So let's see if next year anything will be different. If I'm still going to be a brokey. Yeah, it's because I had to pay my student loan. Like, all my all my Twitch money went to that. Anyway. Editor, cut back, please. You know, 17 bucks? That's like three Twitch subs, right? Or not even, because they're $6 now. That's two Twitch subs. <clears throat> Complex and novel ideas excite you more than simple and straightforward ones. Oh, yeah. It's not that I think about the complex ideas. I like listening to them. You usually feel more persuaded by what resonates emotionally with you than by factual arguments. It's weird because I'm both, like, hyper-empathetic and then I can be hyper-apathetic. I'm going to say neutral. Like, I will always acknowledge the practical first, but I will still... Taking consideration the emotional. I, I value them equally. Your living and working spaces are clean and organized. Okay. These are not synonymous. Clean means like not moldy or dirty. Organized means like everything is tidy. My space is unorganized, but it's clean. Like I don't keep trash in my room. It's neutral. Neutral and everything? No, please. No, that's not what I want. You usually stay calm even under a lot of pressure. Yes. I am very good at maintaining composure. I only had like one breakdown at work. And that was when I had to do Subway. We were supposed to close at 9. It was 4th of July. And across the street was like a massive fireworks presentation. So we had to stay open like an extra hour. So we didn't close until like 10. And we didn't get out till 1. That was the only time I had a breakdown. But then my coworker also had a breakdown. So you know, it was like, it was fine. You find the idea of networking or promoting yourself to strangers very daunting. Not really. I shield subs all the time. Guys, click subscribe right now. 
But networking is kind of cringe. It's because networking in itself is fake. It's not genuine. But it's not scary. I'm going to say disagree because it's not daunting or scary. 10%. Okay, this, this isn't too bad. You prioritize and plan tasks efficiently, often completing them well before the deadline. Okay, I am good at organizing and planning. If you guys saw my spreadsheet that I use for like editing, like what needs to be done and what is done, I'm very organized with that. But before the deadline, there's been some days where I'll upload the video like an hour before 9 a.m. <laughs> so I'm going to say kind of agree. People's stories and emotions speak louder to you than numbers or data. Well, this is going because like I'm very like practical, but if I hear somebody like suffering, then yeah, I'm going to resonate with that more. I'm going to say slight disagree because ultimately you do have to look at statistics, but you can't discredit outliers. You like to use organizing tools like schedules and lists. No, I hate those. It makes me overwhelmed. Even a small mistake can cause you to doubt your overall abilities and knowledge. Yeah, but that's because like I have anxiety and depression. <laughs> and my mom said she hated me. For, like, my entire childhood. Anyway, you feel comfortable just walking up to someone you find interesting and checking up a conversation. I, a few years ago, would have said no on this. Because stranger danger. Don't talk to strangers. But if I see somebody wearing, like, a cool fit or their makeup is cool, i will be like, oh, that's nice. And then if a conversation goes from there, then that's chill. But it's not like I'm going to go up to somebody and be like, hey, you want to talk? I'm not like that. So I'm going to say kind of. You're not too interested in discussions about various interpretations of creative words. I'm not. Too, okay, this is a double negative. I'm going to say disagree. I like hearing people talk about what they're passionate about. You prioritize facts over people's feelings when determining a course of action. Isn't this something Ben Shapiro said? It depends on the scenario, but I think this means in terms of, like, individual interactions between, like, friends and families. And obviously, in those instances, I will consider feelings. I'm gonna say disagree. You often allow the day to unfold without any schedule at all. Yeah. I w I'm a streamer. I click go live and people show up no matter what time I click go live. Uh, type 1 if you're watching live. You rarely worry about whether you make a good impression on people you meet. Oh, no. No, wait. A few years ago, maybe when I was a teen, and by few, I mean like seven years ago, I would very much care a lot more. But now that I have a lot more self-confidence, I don't care. This is why, like, I'm convinced that people's personalities can change over time. Because your lived experience does form a lot of it in... Obviously, there's the component of, like, childhood trauma does affect a lot of your adult demeanor. But when you're an adult, you experience so much more. I'm going to say mostly agree. You enjoy participating in team-based activities. Nope. I hate co-op games. Is because if they're worse than me, then they suck. And if I'm worse than them, then I suck and I am myself. And I've never liked sports or anything like that. The only sport I did in school was track, and that, I did the relay, but I was the fastest person in the relay, and I didn't say anything. But I would be so internally mad at my teammates, because they would be so much slower than me. I cannot do team games. You enjoy experimenting with new and untested approaches. No. No. I like stick it with my own way. You prioritize being sensitive over being completely honest. I am very blunt and curt, but if I know it's a, like a sensitive situation, then I will be more kind. Slight disagree, because I don't want to be an asshole. You actively seek out new experiences and knowledge areas to explore. Nope. I like staying numb and dumb. Also, we are 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, click follow. You get cool emotes, and you get to type in chat. Isn't that pretty sick? So guys, click follow right now, and I'll say thank you.
Mm hmm not even kidding. You are prone to worrying that things will take a turn for the worse. Oh my god, yeah, literally anxiety brain. You enjoy solitary hobbies or activities more than group ones. Yeah, I like being by myself. But I like doing things by myself, but having somebody in the room. Like, if I'm at my computer playing a game, and my sister's, like, on her phone or watching TV, I like doing that. Like, not playing together, but playing around each other, I really enjoy. Free stuff for coming down to Twitch and following? Yeah, I'll tell them thank you. I'll tell them thank you. And no, we're not doing an illegal Mr. Beast giveaway. I would never. You cannot imagine yourself writing fictional stories for a living. I can't imagine writing. But I can imagine drawing. Like, I think a picture book would be kind of fun. But yeah, I can't imagine myself writing. You favor efficiency and decisions, even if it means disregarding some emotional aspects. I'm going to say disagree because there is no situation where I don't consider the emotional aspect of a decision. You prefer to do your chores before allowing yourself to relax. No, I like stalling. I like stalling. I'm a procrastinator at heart. But whenever I do do my chores, I do all of them. Like, I'll spend a whole day doing my chores. It's not illegal if you buy up authorities. You think I have the money? I literally said earlier I got 17 bucks. Yeah, delete that shit. <laughs> You're like, I don't want that in the YouTube video. In disagreements, you prioritize proving your point over preserving the feelings of others. Yeah, I am kind of a debate lord sometimes. This is something that I'm working on, but if I'm getting into, like, a heated discussion with somebody and they're not understanding something, I will call them stupid. I don't do that anymore because I've been called up by several friends. But yeah, facts over feelings, hell yeah. You usually wait for others to introduce themselves first at social gatherings, yeah. Yeah, that's a self-confidence thing. I still would rather have somebody talk first than me. Your mood can change very quickly. Not really. If I feel something, I will feel it throughout the entire day. I don't, like, snap and change. Even though I do have depression and anxiety, I don't have constant mood changes. It's kind of like one thing will happen, and that dictates my status for the entire day. You're not easily swayed by emotional arguments. I'm not. I will always consider practical first, and just because someone is crying doesn't mean I'll instantly change my mind. It takes a lot of convincing. You often end up doing things at the last possible moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you enjoy debating ethical dilemmas. Oh my god, I love it so much. The reason why I like having political or philosophical debates with like my friends and stuff is because it shows so much insight into their personal morality and character. Like, obviously, there's some things that we can disagree on and still be friends, but there are obviously things that are like red flags, right? And I think you kind of have to dip your toes in that a little, not super soon, but like before you get like really emotionally attached to somebody. Because if you have like one thing that's like a deal breaker for you that they don't agree with you on, that's going to affect your future relationship, whether romantic or platonic, you kind of got to figure out that soon because you truly, you don't want to invest so much time or money or hanging out with this person if they don't see you as a person. Like, something that I will never be friends with somebody on, that I will, okay, something that I will never let slide is if somebody does not like queer people, because then that means you, like, hate me. Like, come on. <laughs> like, we have to, you have to be empathetic towards that. I can understand not, I can understand them not, like, understanding a queer person's lived experience if they themselves are not queer, but you still need to have kindness and empathy for people that are unlike you. Just because it's foreign or scary doesn't mean that they're a lesser person. But everybody has their own deal breaker, right? And you kind of got to figure that out kind of early on in any relationship. You usually prefer to be around others rather than your own. Then, okay. You usually prefer to be around others rather than on your own. Nah. I'd rather, I'm fine being in my room all day. You become bored or lose interest when the discussion gets highly theoretical. Nah. I think it's interesting to see what people think. When facts and feelings conflict, you usually find yourself following your heart. This is not a Disney movie. 
You find it challenging to maintain a consistent work or study schedule. Yeah. It's because, it's because, like, I'm disabled, so, like, there's some days where I can, like, get up at 6 and be at my computer for four hours straight and work, work, work. And then there's some days where I can't get out of it. So, anytime I hit a road, or anytime I hit a road bump like that, it messes up my mood for a few days. But more often than not, as of recent, I have been able to stick to a kind of schedule in terms of, like, getting sure I do my daily exercise and stuff. But I still don't edit. I still don't stream at the same time. Oh, well. But, you know, at least I'm doing something every day. I'm doing what I want to do every day. You rarely second-guess the choices that you've made. Slight agree. I don't regret anything I've done, but there are several, but not majority, instances where I do think back on what I have done and I think about how I can do it better. But I rarely doubt or regret doing anything I've done. Your friends would describe you as lively as out and outgoing. No. <laughs> you are drawn to various forms of creative expression, such as writing. Yes, I do have an art degree. You usually base your choices on objective facts rather than emotional impressions. For the most part, yeah. You have a to-do list for every day. Nope. You rarely feel insecure. Ask me six years ago, and I would say I feel insecure all the time. Ask me now, I don't care. I know I'm fat. <laughs> I know I'm plus size. I know I'm POC. I know I'm not conventionally attractive. I know I'm not super funny, but I try. But you know what? As long as I like how I am now, everybody else's opinion does not matter. The only opinions I care about is my sister, and my friends, and maybe my Twitch chat. But otherwise, I don't care. I'm confident in how I look, I'm confident in how I present myself. So why does it matter what other people think? You avoid making phone calls, hell yeah. If I have to make phone calls, I will. Yesterday, I spent three to four hours making phone calls for doctor's appointments, and it sucked. But you know, sometimes you gotta do it. But I will still avoid it at all costs. You enjoy exploring unfamiliar ideas and viewpoints. I don't necessarily enjoy it, but I still listen to other opposing viewpoints. It's good. Because if you keep yourself in a bubble, then you're not going to learn. You're not going to expand your own perspective. So you need to hear opposing ideas. You can easily connect with people you've just met. Yep. I'm really good at shaping and molding what I say and do. And that could be masking. Uh-oh. But I'm very, like... I can talk with anybody, I think. If your plans are interrupted, your top priority is to get back on track as soon as possible. No. If I ruin my schedule or if my plans are changed, it really bothers me. You're still bothered by mistakes you made a long time ago. No. I don't regret anything. Nothing is a mistake. If you see your past decisions as mistakes then that means you have very little faith and confidence in yourself, both your present and your past self. Stand behind what you did in the past, unless you did crimes, of course. But the you of the past thought that was the best thing to do. So stand behind it. Because even if something is a mistake, as long as you're not hurting anybody, that's a learned experience. Hi, Electra. Can we get some yo's? Hello. You are not too interested in discussing theories on what the world could look like in the future. Honestly, yeah. The future is broken. The future is, like, so hard to think about. If you live in the States, you probably resonate with this. Climate change, global warming, the threat of daily violence from the state and the government, and then also your fellow civilians because gun violence. It's hard to think about what your future will be like when there's so much daily threats to your livelihood. I don't like thinking about the future. I just want to stay in the present. You know what I mean? Enjoy my life while I have it. Your emotions control you more than you control them. No. 
I've gotten really good at self-regulation. And wait, I forgot to say this earlier, Jet. One of the phone calls I did make yesterday was to re-enroll in therapy. I'm doing it! Please tell me you're proud. But, okay, I'll say it. Out of all the doctor's offices I had to call yesterday, the counseling office literally had the nicest phone staffers. Oh my god, she was so nice. <laughs> she was genuinely so nice. I almost cried. I was telling her, I was like, you're like the nicest person I've talked to on the phone all day. Everyone else was kind of rude. And she's like, oh honey, it's okay. You're doing beautiful today. I'm like, oh. <laughs> it's probably because like... Mental health people who work in the field are trained to be nice. Anyway. So yeah, I'm starting in like two weeks. And it's sick. Because since I'm on Medicaid, <laughs> everything is free. Not free because it's your guys' tax dollars, but you know, fuck you. <laughs> I love socialism. <laughs> Wait, I didn't tell Chad this. So, this weekend, I went to, like, a little farmer's market with my sister, because they had, like, a little pop-up market. They had, like, I think, like, a hundred different booths, booths in, like, a, a city park. And one of the booths was for, I can't say the organization name, because it has the city name, but it was for, like, the local socialist um, activism group. And it was really funny because I was walking around with my sister. We, we both had masks on because she had to go to a dental appointment. And then we both had our headphones on. So let me just say we looked as shit, right? <laughs> so the two like teenagers or young adults working at this booth, they come up to us. They're like, hey, do you know about like socialism? And I'm like nodding my head along pretending that I don't know. And they were like, yeah, we should like tax the rich and... <laughs> Like, all, like, the main, like, slogans for socialism. And it was really funny. Because I was, like, nodding along. And they're like, what do you think? I was like, I've been a socialist forever. Like, you should be talking to people who, like, need convincing. And he's like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> but how did he... I think it was funny that he approached us. Like, we look the most, like, woke, I guess. Because only, in that whole event, only two people were wearing masks. I was like, why is he, like, talking to the two most woke-looking motherfuckers there? And it was really funny, because, like, literally across from their little booth was the police department booth. <laughs> I was like, uh... I was like, whoever, whoever, like, outlined the layout for this event needs to not do that. <laughs> you know, the, the cops would just blast him. Anyway, going back to it, I thought it was really funny. Or it was it was funnier there. But I was like, how do they clock me as a socialist? They knew. Anyway. <clears throat> Back to it. When making decisions, you focus more on how the affected people might feel than on what is more logical or efficient. You focus more on how the affected people might feel. I would say slight agree, because you do have to consider that as a result, right? You can't just part his logic. I miss the old piece in. No, don't say that. Don't say that. Guys, come on. You know what? See, to see it this way, when I do become the biggest female streamer, or let's, you know what? The biggest streamer. You guys will look back on this and be like, I was there. I was there. Right, right. Also, hi, Ethan. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Also, chatters. It looks like Ethan is going to win this month's best of comp or best clipper. So, you know, get to work. You guys got two days if you want to usurp Ethan from getting his gift card. 80%, <coughs> two more sections left. Your personal work style is closer to spontaneous bursts of energy than organizing consistent efforts. Yeah, that's because I'm disabled. They're being ableist. When someone thinks highly of you, you wonder how long it will take them to feel disappointed in you. Wait, that's so real? No, that's so real. You know, my mom made me this way. Wait, I'm gonna cry. That's so real.
I don't hyper focus on me disappointing them. So I'm gonna say majority disagree. The song sounds familiar. It's from Super Mario Sunshine. Super Mario Sunshine, which I have, but I don't know if I want to play on stream. You know what I mean? I'm debating. Do the rice purity test on stream next. I'm not doing that. I've. <laughs> I will not confirm nor deny if I've taken that test in the past. And I'm not going to share what I might have scored on that test. I am not. Scared of getting a zero? Okay, it was not zero. It was not zero. The only problem, the reason why I wouldn't do the rice purity test on stream is because I've only had one partner. So it would basically be like leaking whatever me and said partner did or might have done. You know what I mean? Like, it'd be different if I, like, fucked, like, a million people. Then, obviously, my score would be higher, but then it would be harder to pinpoint who was who, you know? Or maybe I've had a 16 girlfriends that I don't tell chat about. Anyway. You would love a job that requires you to work alone most of the time. Hell yeah! You know, the thing about- The thing I like about clicking go live is I do it by myself. You know? I don't got a crew, I don't got a staff yet. Hopefully we'll have an editor soon. But it's just me, I like it. You haven't got to get on my level 1000 club? Yo! You know what, Ethan? You should do it on stream. If you do it, maybe I'll do it. Do you? You believe that pondering abstract philosophical questions is a waste of time? No, why not? Why not think? You feel more drawn to busy, bustling atmospheres than quiet, intimate places. I'm neutral. I used to, like, freak out in more crowded areas, but now I kind of like it. I kind of like it. My parents know my Twitch. Okay, that was mistake number one. You, okay, for anybody who's going to stream or does YouTube, never show your real name. Never, 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 never. Never show your real name. Never say what city you live in. Maybe sharing your state is fine, but at least say your country. And never tell your friends your account. Never tell your parents. Never. I think it's so crazy. Like, watching Queso's stream and, like, his parents are both in chat. That, to me, is insane. That's crazy to me. I wouldn't want my parents watching my stream because I talk so much shit. I needed viewers. <laughs> Honey, <laughs> if you need to rely on your parents to get the plus two viewers, you need to be trying something different. Casey Wacy is perfect. I don't think I've ever, ever heard anybody call him that. You know, my sister is starting to like Queso now. Because like, I'll put him on the TV, like his YouTube. And my sister will not... Cause if I put on a video, if I put on, like, a Ludwig video or a Squeaks video, she'd be like, can we watch something else? But if I put on a case of video, she'll, like, actually sit and watch it now. I've converted her. Anyway, back to it. If a decision feels right to you, you often act on it without needing further proof. Yeah, I can be kind of rash with certain decisions, but if it's something where I could potentially lose something, like a relationship or money, then yeah, I'll, I'll think about it more. You often feel overwhelmed. Okay, yesterday I felt very, very overwhelmed. But that's because I spent hours and hours on the phone with doctors only to get nowhere. But normally, I've gotten a lot better at self-regulation. You know, I was in counseling before and rolling again soon. So I don't feel as overwhelmed as before. I used to literally have, like, not like a full mental breakdown, but I would have a day where, like, I cried and cried and cried. Like, once a month, six months ago, and then a year ago, I would have that once a week. And as of recent, it happens, like, every three months. I think it's because I very much accepted my reality. I've accepted who I am, how I am, the way I am. So it doesn't... I don't get overwhelmed in that way as much. I'm going to say strong... 
disagree. You complete things methodically without skipping over any steps. Yeah. Yeah, I'm very particular and meticulous with certain things. You prefer tasks that require you to come up with creative solutions rather than follow concrete steps. In order for me to do something for the first time, I do need instructions. But once I'm given the instructions, I kind of like gamify to find the more efficient and quick way to do something. Neutral. I love being efficient. You know, I grew up playing the Papa's games and I love trying to find the best and quickest way to do things. You are more likely to rely on emotional intuition than logical reasoning when making a choice. Neutral, I consider both. You struggle with deadlines. No, I always get things done on time. It might be like right up to the deadline, but I still get it done. You feel confident that things will work out for you. Yes, I am delusional. Guys, subscribe right now so we hit that 10 milli. I want that play button. <laughs> I'm deleting that from the screen because the YouTube viewers don't get that. Yeah, Papa is not a banned word, but Mama is. I'm sorry. Well, it's because, like, you can't call me Papa. You could call me Mama, but then it's sexual. That's why, like, Papa. Wait, is Poppy a bland banned word? Because isn't Poppy, like, a more sexual phrase? Okay, this is not an invitation to call me Papa. Okay, choose your gender. I'm a girly. The moment of truth. Your personality type is logician, logician. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. I N T P hyphen A. Logicians are innovative inventors with an unquenchable thirst for knowledge. Wait, do they have little AirPods in? Zoom in. Energy. 25% extroverted and 75% introverted. That makes sense. I like staying by myself, but I don't mind being around people. Introverted individuals tend to prefer fewer, yet deep and meaningful social interactions and often feel drawn to calmer environments. Legit, I only got like one real, real friend. But we're like, we're like this. Mind. 57% intuitive, 43% observant. Intuitive individuals are very imaginative, open-minded, and curious. They value originality and focus on hidden meanings and distant possibilities. You know why? This is because I took AP Lit in high school. AP Lit literally changed my whole worldview. Animal farming, so much more now. I'm 50-50, but more extroverted. That makes sense, based on how you talk and chat. Like, I'm not even kidding. Nature. 54% thinking, 46% feeling. Thinking individuals focus on objectivity and rationality, often dismissing emotions in favor of logic. Uh-oh. They tend to see effectiveness as more important than social harmony. Yeah, I think 50-50 kind of makes sense. Tactics. 31% judging, 69% prospecting. Prospecting individuals are very good at improvising and adapting to opportunities. They tend to be flexible, nonconformists who value novelty above stability. Yeah, I'm very, like, I'm very go with the flow, and I can make decisions fairly quickly, but that's because, like, I have anxiety brains, so before I go into any situation, I think about all the hundred to infinite possibilities of what could happen. Yeah, this makes sense. <laughs> okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm deleting that one. <laughs> What was the F? Is it this one? Anyway. Identity. 72% assertive? 28% turbulent. Assertive individuals are self-assured, even-tempered, and resistant to stress. <laughs> Wait, that's a lie. I stress all the time. They refuse to worry too much and tend to be self-confident when striving to achieve goals. Wait, this... Okay. Like, 90%, 90% of the time, 
I can be assertive when I need to. But then 10%, I'm like really shy and self-conscious. I didn't think it would be that big. You know, I was told I have a BA personality, a bachelor's degree, and like, I can be sociable when I need to, and then assertive. I'm not super introverted anymore. Okay, I don't, you don't, I don't want that. <laughs> okay, this is why you do incognito tab. Nothing was leaked, don't worry. Okay, thank God. <laughs> Good thing I did incognito tab. I switched at the last second. Okay, we're good. Logician. INTP personality. Introverted. Intuitive. Thinking and prospecting. Okay, that makes sense. And look. I'm a scientist, which makes sense because I have a Bachelor's of Science hyphen graphic design. I am really sad I didn't get the green characters. Because green is my favorite color. Okay, I don't want to necessarily read all of this. Wait, there's so many subsections? Strengths, weaknesses, romantic relationships, friendships, parenthood, career paths, workplace, habits, and conclusion. What sounds the most interesting romantic relationships? People with the INTP personality type, logicians, have an unusual combination of traits that often come as a pleasant surprise to their romantic partner. Wait, I'm unusual. INTPs may seem cerebral and reserved, but once they let their guard down, they have a playful, creative side as well. Wait, that's literally me. INTPs miss their ex? Shut up, I don't. In their relationships, INTP personalities can use their ingenuity to keep things fresh and come up with clever, unexpected ways to make their partner feel special. I guess that's kind of true. As introverts, INTPs appreciate alone time, but that doesn't mean that they don't crave companionship. For people with this personality type, the ideal romantic partner isn't just someone to pass the time with, but an equal who can challenge their ideas. That makes sense. They want to spend their life in pursuit of learning and growth. They hope that the person they love will not just share this mission, but can actively encourage it. I've said this for a while. I don't think I could date another socialist. Because then we'd agree on everything and there wouldn't be any, like, friction. It's not that I want friction, I just need to be challenged sometimes, you know what I mean? <laughs> Finding a relationship that meets these standards isn't always easy for these personalities. INTPs may drag their feet when it comes to going out into the world and meeting new people. Literally me. And even when they do have an interest in someone, it can take them a while to work up the will to risk rejection and ask the person out. Oh my god, I've said this story many times. But the first person I dated, we were co-workers, obviously. Oopsie. But we both liked each other for like a month. And... We were gonna ask each other out on 4th of July. But I had to work on 4th of July. So we couldn't see the fireworks together. And then, because we used to walk home together because we lived kind of close. And after 4th of July, I was going to, like, ask him out, like, basically every single night after. But I was too much of a wimp. And then on July 7th, so three days after the 4th, he asked me out. And it was so cute. I don't give a fuck about rejection. They'll say, yeah, after the 4th, ask, wait, yeah, uh, mods? Uh, now you can share the INTP memes. You know what I think is stupid? Running ads, but I gotta do it. Because guys, we're an hour in a stream, so if you want to avoid that ad, all you gotta do is subscribe. Do it now. <clears throat> One of the tips and tricks I've seen from people who are like, how do I make a new popular social media account? Is... A common trend I'll see is people will make meme accounts and then they'll plug like their Twitch or their YouTube or their Spotify or sorry, their, their 
SoundCloud, and they'll get followers from their meme accounts, which is a legitimate strategy nowadays. And I think it's so stupid because most memes are stolen. Like, why are you making your brand off of stolen shit? Like, how am I supposed to believe if you just steal memes all the time that you're going to make good music? I'm not going to think that. Anyway, back to it. Oh my god, this is literally me. This is literally me. I really hope the other personalities don't say the same thing, because this is literally me. Even early in the dating phase, INTPs are usually direct and honest. They don't see the point of playing games, and while they can be quiet, they aren't coy. People with this personality type rarely filter their opinions, and they encourage their partner to be frank with them as well. For many of these individuals, being upfront isn't a sign of rudeness or bad manners. Instead, it's a point of pride. Not to mention a way to avoid misunderstandings. Wait, that's literally so me. Wait, they know me so well. Okay, this is not necessarily true. Navigating conflict. Few people love conflict, but INTPs are especially prone to shutting down when emotional disagreements arise. Rather than slowing down and really listening, they may use their powers of logic to try and prove their partner wrong. Okay, I don't do this. I like to listen to the people. Alternatively, they might offer easy, rational solutions not wanting to delve into the messiness of deeper issues and feelings. Okay, that is not true. That is not true. They don't know me. Instantly unlock the 95% of insights? This is only 5%? That's wild. But you know what, guys? I scored INTP. I'm a logician. Or magician. I don't think I'm saying that right. But there we have it. So that was me taking the personality test on August 28th, 2024. I'm a logician. INTP. Let's see what I score next year. And hopefully I'll have more money in my bank account. <laughs> Maybe it'll be like 17,000 by next year. <laughs> so guys, make sure <laughs> if you like this video, subscribe, leave a comment, like it. I'd appreciate it. You can also watch live over on twitch.tv slash peason underscore 17. You can come hang out and chat. Isn't that pretty cool? But thank you for watching. <sighs>
particularly in more abstract fields such as physics. Wait, streamer is not here. Yeah, not be a streamer. That's what I'm looking for. That being said, the best jobs for these personalities aren't limited to technical fields. INTPs, talents for analysis and research. Wait, should I have taken AP stats instead of AP calc? Shit. Talent for analysis and research can be invaluable to pretty much any, or invaluable? What? Why does it say, shouldn't it be valuable, not invaluable? Wait, does invaluable mean good? I don't know. In pretty much any line of work, and they have the flexibility to shine even in careers that might not seem like an obvious match. Any job that allows these individuals to invent or experiment with new processes from teaching to management to merchandising can give them endless gratification. Invaluable is good. Then why not just say valuable? Dude, I hate English. <clears throat> I also feel like a lot of things they're describing for INTPs is kind of like things that people with ASD take. Should have taken AP English. I took AP English in senior year and junior year. And I failed both. <laughs> People with this personality type are driven by their own curiosity and their own high standards for themselves. For INTPs, good enough is rarely good enough. Wait, that's so real. And they'd hate to be called average. Oh no, guys, am I average? Be honest. But they aren't hardworking just for the sake of it, and not every task captures their attention equally. At times, these personalities might ignore routine or administrative work in favor of pursuits that they consider more engaging or important. They need to give me, like, a list of jobs that are good for me. Because, let's be honest, is streaming really going to work out? <laughs> Social cues. Nearly every job posting these days requests candidates with strong people skills. INTPs might argue that people skills are overrated. <laughs> what celebrities are you? I would never take that quiz because I don't like celebrities. Even though I'm, like, an internet sensation. I don't like celebrities. INTPs might argue that people's skills are overrated, and given how many fields are being revolutionized by AI, data, and automation, they may have a point. Wait, that's so real. Every single customer service spot is AI now. <laughs> what type of streamer are you? <laughs> but I get Tyler one. Increasingly, Employers need people like INTPs who can understand complex systems and think critically. Guys, I still got a job. People with this personality type are nothing if not adaptable, and they could absolutely succeed in people-oriented positions. In these roles, they may need to keep in mind they're engaged by experimenting with new, more effective ways of serving their customers. Is that why I was a manager? No, give me a list of like what jobs I can do. Because streamer was not on here. Streamer was not here. No! Should I put parenthood? Okay, I'm, I'm never having a kid, so... You can do any job you put your mind to it. It did say I was adoptable. Do you guys think I could be an astronaut, even though I have, like, vertigo and nausea all the time? I'm just skimming this, because this honestly isn't as interesting as the relationship part. <laughs> INTPs are often tempted to put off tasks that seem boring or beneath them. But until they pay their dues by doing these tasks... What? What?
Wait, this makes so much sense. As managers, INTPs tend to be tolerant and flexible. I was management at Subway for a few years. I think two years of the three years that I worked with the company. And yeah, I was, I was not firm at all. But most everybody that worked under me, because we were all like fucking like teenagers and like young adults. Nobody gave a shit. So why should I give a shit and yell at people? You know what I mean? This does not mean I would be a bad boss if you work for me as an editor. Smile. Conclusion. Let's look at that. <laughs> Along the way, you may have muttered to yourself, wow, this is so accurate. It's a little creepy. <laughs> Yelling is bad management? Yes, it is. Parenting, too. You should not yell at your kids. Your kids should not be scared of you, because then your child will not respect you. Or making or forcing your kid to respect you is not going to help. You know what I kind of want to do? Can I take the test again? I want to choose, like, all of one color. Wait, how do I refresh? No, I have to make a new tab. Okay, okay, I pulled out the test again. I want to pick all the green options. Do the rice purity test now? No, I won't. I told you why I can't do it. <laughs> you know, as a streamer, I already share so much with chat. You guys don't need more. You don't need more pieces of me. Me taking the SAT, you always answer A. final section let's do female still i have answered strong agree on everything wait that probably doesn't matter because some of them will switch the wording <laughs> protagonist <laughs> that is such like protagonist energy to do that <laughs> okay well i just wanted to do that for fun <laughs> Oh, wait, yeah, they're, like, closer to 50-50 now, because they, they jumbled, yeah, they're closer to 50-50, because they mixed the words around. Man, that's so dumb. <laughs> wow. That was dumb. <laughs> okay, guys. Let's do a little bit, a little bit of gaming. A little bit of gaming. And you know what I want to do? Super Auto Pets. But before I boot up Sap, guys, what is this? Oh my god, is this piece of art on my Shopify.com? Holy moly. New artwork available this week or next week. Use code TWITCH10 for $10 off your purchase today. All the paintings back here on my own. You can get your own painting made on stream. Or... I have the Lionel prints available where you can color or black and white versions. You can get the whole collection. Or if you buy the single card, you have a 10% chance of getting a hollow. Isn't that pretty sick? Also, I did tell Chet, because as you guys can see here, these are all gifters from the August subathon. So our top gifter did send a picture for me to draw. I might do it on stream. I might not. And if I do do it on stream... It'll be either next week or, like, Friday. I don't know. I'm thinking. Okay, I'm gonna boot up chat. Uh, guys, put your favorite picture in chat.
Man, I love wearing my headphones. You know what I'm surprised? Nobody got auto modded today. Ain't that wild? I did. You didn't get auto modded, you just get auto deleted. There's a difference. I scored a 42. <laughs> I don't remember what I even scored, but it wasn't like crazy. How does one say? What should I title the stream, guys? I'm locked in. If you're listening to the stream, which I know you are, let me pin certain categories instead of typing in the title every time. That'd be sick, please and thank you. You know, you're adding new UI stuff all the time, like actually listen to my suggestions. Thank you. Dude, imagine you're a staffer. <laughs> I was gonna say, have I not gotten, like, clapped yet? But I don't do anything that's bad. The only thing that I did that was almost bad was I almost showed a butt on screen, but I, I clicked away before anything was shown. Twitch staff, don't worry. You guys know the drill. Will I, will I win this game? Will I get 10 trophies? What do I want to do today? Ooh, I think there's a new weekly pack, right? Yeah? Okay, I haven't seen this pack at all. We'll do normal. Wait, I clicked. Weekly pack now. I haven't done this pack yet because I've been playing Poker Rogue. Ooh, give one random pet plus one attack. That's kind of huge. Give one pet three mana. But all mana is reduced by half on sort of turns. Okay, that's stupid. Reroll. I don't want the mana potion. I'll take the groundhog and the horse. Why not? I don't know what's in the weekly pack yet. Cliche? Legends. And talking about YouTube, guys... Please make sure you're subscribed. It's free to subscribe on YouTube. Oh. Oh, I also have another idea for another sap stream we can do. Sap, but I'm not allowed to re-roll. What do you guys think? Two beavers? Oh yeah, the horse gives plus one. Suchinoko. Start a battle, jump to the front space, and gain experience. Goose, start a battle. Remove one attack from the first enemy. One attack? That ain't gonna do much. I assume if I level up the goose, it'll do more, but... I'll level up my horse and turn. I have no clue what's in this pack. No tengo ningún idea que... Que tipos de animales 
is Dawn and SD Pagetti. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. You know, I want to do a trip to Spain at some point, so I gotta practice now. Even though everybody in Spain fucking hates Taurus. Ooh, worm! Selling beaver. Give me that worm. And not... <laughs> not... A weird type of worm. Okay, I'm locked in. Level up the horse, why not? Pug. Start a battle, get the nearest friend ahead. Experience. Before attack, spend two trumpets to get the nearest friend behind six health. Okay, that's lame. I don't like any of these. Start a battle, get two trumpets. I want that. Ooh, another worm. Sea turtle. Friend summoned. If in battle, give it plus three health. Ooh, the sea turtle and horse could be a good combo together, actually. So, I will sell the beaver. And. And. Um. Uh, I want another worm. That way, next turn, I'll get another apple. Wombat. Start a battle. Copy, faint, ability. No. Lame. Uh, lame. Lame. I haven't seen a lot of these pets because what's cool about the weekly packs is that it includes a lot of pets from the premium from the premium packs. Which I do want to buy at some point. W. Like when I have the capital, I'll buy it. Or whenever because obviously if I'm getting an editor for the channel, I'd have to make a business for the stream. It would be a business expense, technically. Okay, let's see. Oh, I just realized none of my pets have a summon. <laughs> um. Combine the worm. Buy a sea turtle. Should I do a scum summon build? No, I shouldn't. No, I shouldn't. Should I? No, I shouldn't. Should I? Should I? Summon bill time. Enter. You know what? I haven't done a summon build in a long time. Why not? Also, I'm looking the, at the prediction. 50-50. Two key on each side. That's pretty... Y'all like gambling, don't you? I mean, predicting with channel points. Cucumber. Give one pet the cucumber perk. And perk gain one health. Giving it to the horse, because I'd rather the horse tank hits than the turtle. Tuna, faint. Give one random friend plus one heart plus one attack for each turn this was hurt. Ooh, that's kind of crazy. I want another summon pet, though. I don't like either of these. Enter. Man, I don't know how to work with a summon pack or a summon build anymore. Usually do shark, dog, but I haven't seen those yet. Wait, when that guy dies, he gets the chili perk? That's kind of crazy. Okay, 3 out of 10, not too bad. Slime. Ooh! Slime is kind of crazy for a summon build. Tree, start a battle. If this has six or less attack, gain the coconut perk. Lame. Lame. 
croissant is kind of good. I don't think I want to do trumpets. Let's do slime. Meat bone here. Croissant here. This is looking good. Man, I forgot how good summon builds are. <laughs> Wait, what happened to the slimes? Wait, what? Whenever, oh, okay, slime. Summon one, two twos for each two battles fought. Oh, I didn't realize that was part of the perk. Uh, that's fine. I kind of want the blowfish. Okay, that's- I didn't realize it was two battles total. Next turn, I'm gonna swap out the worm for the blowfish. Okay, do I want... Okay, croissant to the cricket, because I'm no longer doing a trumpet build. Cucumber... The cucumber has to- or sorry. The slime has to die in order for the slimes to arrive. But it's probably still better to give it a cucumber. That way it can tank more hits, I guess. Or no, it should have higher attack. Yeah, if I get a croissant, I'll give it to the slime next. Hi, Kim. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Oh, got no audio? Hi, Kim. There you go. Since you can't hear. No! Ah! Anubis. Start a battle. Activate tier 2 or lower faint friends front to back. Okay, that sounds crazy. Oh, copy. Roll. Gain one attack, one heart, health until next turn. Okay, so it's temporary stats. I don't like that. Friend gained ailment. Give it rice. Rice. Sell for two gold. I don't want that. Mm -mm. None of these are good. Okay, so now whenever the slime dies. It'll summon. I think. I think I want to get rid of the cricket. Swap it for... The blowfish. And then whenever I want to sell the worm, I'll sell it for another summon pet. Give this guy a cucumber. I got five left. Making this guy tanky. Because I don't know if there's scorpions in this pack. Hi! I might swap out the worm for another slime. <laughs> like having having a whole team of slimes would be crazy. I kind of want to do a run where I can only get like I have to have five of one pet. I think that'd be really funny. You watch this, the slime will come back. Okay, it only slow summons one slime. 
But it still summons a 2-2. That's pretty good. Let's see. Five trophies, four hearts left. Ooh, Moth. Give the frontmost friend plus two attack. That's really good, but... I think I want to get another slime. Mm-hmm. And I'll give this slime the Piper. I don't want this. End turn. I feel like this build kind of crazy. battle until my second slime can start summoning. Bacon? Plus two attack? I've never seen that. Give one pet the sausage perk. Start a turn, get one free roll. Ooh! I kinda like that. Get a free roll? That's saving I guess one coin. It's still kinda huge. Ooh, level up this guy. Summon one four four slime. For every two battles fought. So that means it'll summon two twos. Or two four fours. Yo, that's kind of insane. Behemoth. Whenever it ends turn, gain plus two attack, plus two health. Attack and health can go up to 100. Girl. You know what? Combining the slime. I want this guy. We'll put him in the front. Nope, we'll put... Blowfish in the front in case there is a scorpion. That's kind of insane. Gain one free roll. Yeah, I don't, I don't think the behemoth needs a perk. We'll give him the sausage for now. I don't need the pie for nobody. Start a turn. Old mouse. Summon one random level one nostalgic turn. Or nostalgic toy. Hmm. Ooh, shark is also good. You know what I might do? This might be a entire summon build. Whenever a friend faints. Gain plus two attack, plus two health. So that means the slime would summon, the slime would summon, sorry, I, summon builds require a lot of math, and that's why I don't like them, they're also cringe. That means this guy is going to summon two four fours, that means one, two, three, four, six pets will die, so the shark will gain twelve, twelve. Next turn, I'll swap out the blowfish for the shark. Pretending to be INTP. Why would I lie on camera? I would never lie. Mm -mm. Oh, what's this bozo? Watch this, two slimes. Ain't no way my ass get getting beaten by a tree. Okay, I can't talk. You know what? Times are desperate. Shark time. Dum. Ultimately, the shark needs more health in case there's like a crocodile item. Mushroom to the slime. Let's see what that looks like. Eggplant. 
Start a battle, push opposite enemy one space forward. I don't like that. I've never seen a mushroom on a slime. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, he doesn't fit. Shit. draw that's fine okay so the slime doesn't work with the mushroom because it would need to have three empty spaces so and i don't really want to get rid of either of these because it is very helpful the mushroom will not work for the slime at this point so i'm just going to replace it back with the cucumber i'll take the l yeah a pet coming back is a one one I think it would only make sense to give it to the shark in case somehow the shark dies. That way, if it dies in the very beginning, it still comes back and then it still has the the perk of whenever a friend faints. I'm not getting a lot of health items in this pack. And I rely on that heavily. I mean, I guess you're getting like the cucumber and the croissant. Oh, this could be a win. Yeah, there's just no way to get all your slimes to fit on the field. Hmm. I don't know. Mushroom to the shark was fine. I might still keep it that way. I think just to stay alive, I should give the pie to my horse. I'll still keep that frozen. Reroll. Hi, em Hi Emerald. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? Hello. Ooh. This could be controversial. Selling the turtle. Buying the tear. Cause j give chili perk to the nearest room high when it dies. And then give you the chili perk to the behemoth. Makes sense because it the sausage only works when we're rolling. I haven't played sap since the toys. I've only recently started playing, like, in the past month and a half, so I don't know about any previous areas. I watched, like, like, I sat and watched some of Ludwig's old streams, and, like, the visuals look insanely different compared to two years ago. The game is really addicting. It's almost as addicting as Poker Rogue, but it's not. How much peanut butter can you eat before it's unhealthy? It is very oily. It's another hyper-processed food, so if you're gonna get peanut butter, try to get, like, an organic one. Or, like, some stores will sell, like, freshly ground peanut butter. But, too much of anything ain't good. Like, if you're shitting yourself, you're probably having too much. <laughs> yeah, one tablespoon is a serving. You should probably have no more than two a day, is my assumption. But I'm not a nutritionist or anything. Let's see, reroll. Damn, this would have been crazy. Give one pet plus three, plus three. I'll give the chicken leg to the shark. Reroll. I 
I'm not saying that word because I don't know if you guys are trying to bait me into saying a slur. And you know, if we're going to get nominated for Hidden Gem, I can't be saying bad words. I just had three tablespoons of peanut butter. Oh, seven, soldier. <laughs> Enter. <laughs> okay, if I live this, this could be huge. They got a 26. Wait, 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 wait. This, this could work. This could work. Yes! Four more to go, baby. Okay. Yeah, the shark came in clutch there. Tomato. Before attack, deal eight damage to the last enemy once. I'll give that to this guy. Reroll. Nobody needs the sausage perk again. Reroll. Turtle, my old friend. I don't need you anymore. I lost prediction. No, I didn't lose yet. Don't worry. I still got one heart left. I'm debating if I should swap out. The pie for the cucumber. It might be worth. But either way, I want to level up the behemoth first. Gain plus four. Ooh. Cobra, whenever the friend ahead attacks, deal 20% rock damage to one random enemy. That's kind of insane. But the chili perk, I think, is more valuable. Because... 20% can mean anything. But the behemoth is a tank. End turn. Come on, give me a dub. I need this. Okay, eat rock. Oh, they got a... No, they have such a powerful shark. Oh, no. first attempt at this weekly pack eh, it's fine I don't know like any of those pets that's why like I didn't do well will I win no I'm sorry believers let's do one more I gotta go soon though let's just do the normal pack what do I need I think I still need to get the duck. Yeah, let's go for a duck. We can get a, a duck or pigeon. Enter. Folded shirts. Guys, did you do your laundry today? Be honest. I did all my laundry yesterday. When I said I did nothing yesterday, that means I did all my chores, I just didn't stream. Because when I don't stream, that means I do nothing in your guys' eyes. You know what, maybe we'll go for a mosquito win, because I'm not getting any more pigeons. Yeah, let's go for a mosquito win. Enter. Okay, leveling up mosquito. Wait, did I already win with the mosquito? I forgot. Wait, I gotta check. I literally made a Google Doc of the pets that I have won. Oh, 
Okay, I have not gotten a mosquito win. And I lost, sad. That's okay. Give me mosquito. Oh, I'm not messing with my formation at all. What am I doing? Ooh, a duck win could be crazy too. Enter. Selling the horse because it's weak, getting the worm. Ooh, another worm. Because I want to build a pal. Man, I should have gone for a pigeon build. Mosquitoes? This is not the strongest team, but I want to build up apples. That way I can get stronger. This might not be the best strat, though. Um, prediction, I forgot. Go Gamba. Give me the dolphin. Meat bone. I'll keep that meat bone frozen. Rabbit. In turn. Because basically, I just want to make my mosquito super tanky. Since it's gonna be alive the longest anyway. Okay, I lose this. This ain't looking good for me, I'll be honest. I am not really thinking. Now, we cook them again. I got a 9-10 mosquito. It has the beef, so it's now a 12-10. Okay, we good. Now we're good. No scorpions yet. And still no more mosquitoes, unfortunately. Puffer fish, let's see. Yeah, swapping the puffer fish for the dolphin. Enter. I feel good about this now. The puffer fish makes me feel at ease. Oh, yeah. Mm, they got the dog, though. Damn. Selling this one. Yep, that's what I gotta do. 
re-roll. Finally, mosquito. Salad bowl. And level up the mosquito to see what we get. Rhino! Ooh, okay. Next turn, I'm gonna swap the rhino out for the blowfish, if I live. End turn. Which, debatable. Okay, the hippo's gonna get a knockout off the jump. Oh yeah, I got this. Dude, I got lucky. Okay, let's see. Scorpion is now in play. Like I said, swapping out the blowfish for the rhino. That's a lot more valuable right now. Two less damage. To the rhino. Apple. To the rhino. Chocolate. If I live, the smartest thing to do is give it to the worm. That way next turn, I get upgraded apples. End turn. Uh, this is risky. I do have a 710 rhino, though. Oh. Turkey and parrot. God damn. <gasps> rhino goaded. <laughs> I forgot how good it is. The chain of rocks. Oh, it's so good. Okay. Let's see. We got 10 coins. Sushi, of course. Seven left. I think it's smart to make the rhino tanky. So let's give the cupcake to the rhino. Reroll. Nothing is close to leveling up. So I'll freeze that. I don't want to necessarily upgrade the rab right now. Next turn, it'll be upgraded. I'm at four trophies. This is going to be a hard win. Another apple to the rhino. End turn. Because even if the camel gets taken out by a scorpion, it'll be fine. Why'd they put the whale in the front? So easy with the rhino camel. <sighs> okay. Meat bone to the camel. Because it only has four health. Oh, I should have leveled up the rabbit first. Next turn, I'll level up the rabbit. Right now. Camel needs more health, I think. Reroll. Meat bone. Nobody really needs it. Parrot ability could be good, but I think I need to keep the worm. Also, I'm not getting any more freaking mosquitoes. The whole, like, star of this attempt is the mosquito. Oh, they got a 22... And a 1726 swan. One more time. My last run of the day. New prediction. Do you think I'll win? a horse summon build though. I don't. 
You know what? If the horse comes back, we'll do it. Aggressive monks. Or maybe cricket win? I'd be down for a cricket win. Yeah, let's do a cricket win. We'll give it a cricket and a honey. Mm-hmm. everything. So many crickets! Moly. I don't want to freeze the meat bone. Okay, this looks good. I'm putting my strongest cricket in the back because the hippo's not in play yet, I don't think. The only way somebody could get a hippo is if they upgraded a pet. And randomly unlocked it. I don't get the benefit of the rat perk. Maybe it can combat the hippo? But the rat is so weak, the hippo would just kill it anyway. I guess it could break the streak that a hippo has, but otherwise, kind of D win. Okay. Combine this cricket. Parrot? I don't see myself using it in this build. So I'm going to do the giraffe. That way, the worm can gradually build health. Let's see. I got seven coins left. Upgrading the worm is gonna go crazy. Getting more stronger apples early on. Yeah, I'll keep these two food items frozen. okay. He's still at five hearts. I'm doing okay. You know who's not doing okay, though? The non-subs. Because, guys, we're two hours in. You know the drill. I gotta run ads. So if you want to avoid the ad, all you gotta do is subscribe for $5.99, just $6, skip your coffee, and get out of free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to Twitch and subscribe for free. Click subscribe right now to see if you got that sub available. Get some water. Get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. I'm locked in. Okay. 
Combining this cricket, getting the rabbit. Freezing the worm. Let's see. I definitely want to give the meat bone to the rabbit at some point. And I'll buy the two apples. Easy. Let's put the rabbit in the front. That way if there is a scorpion in play, it'll just take it out. Nice. I think I just got to give everybody a meat bone temporarily, besides the horse. I don't want to keep the horse. Actually, I'm going to sell it now. Get another worm. Why not? Why not? I don't need to freeze this apple because I'm getting another apple next turn. Nothing good. Still no more crickets. End turn. They have the dog and then Ram. It's not too bad. They don't have enough summon pets. Easy. I got two apples. I don't want the cupcake. I just want to re-roll. Man, nothing really good. I, I just want cricket. I, whatever I went out was cricket, rhino, and then camel. Mocha. Stop! Jeez Louise. Well, I'm still gonna win, though. <laughs> Silly hedgehog build. Chili bark. Oh my god, chili bark. The cricket summoning another bee, kind of lame. So I'll give it the garlic perk. And let's buy these two apples. And since the worm is already pretty tanky, let's do this. And just hope and pray there's no hippo. That way if the first opponent pet has a chili, It'll be fine. Either way, the worm is going to take out that hippo. Is her? Yep, giving the garlic was definitely a good idea for the cricket. Five out of ten. Another chili? Okay. Let's give it to the rabbit, then. I kind of want to start making the rabbit tanky now. And it's going to level up. Oh, no. It's not going to level up. I misspoke. End turn. Oh, 24-27. But the hippo behind is going to die. Oh, wait. Uh, 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 uh. Dear 
Mr. Scorpion. Ooh, Snake is also good. Dude, so many good pets. For sure, leveling up the rabbit before I feed anybody. Oh. They took away the pear that was here. What if I do scorpion and deer? The snake is also good. I can't have it all, though. Okay, I don't need the giraffe anymore, because the rabbit here makes it kind of pointless. I kind of want scorpion and deer. I kind of want it. You know what? Screw it. I'm doing it. For sure, scorpion. Now, do I want a snake? Or a deer. Summons one five five chili bus. If I level up the deer, I have three hearts left. Because the bus will probably get one hidden, so one plus five damage versus a snake whenever the friend ahead deals damage. Five for every damage taken. Or for every time the friend attacks. You know what? It's probably more worthwhile to get the snake at this point. I don't want the deer. Boom. Up the worm. Yeah, I'll take this. Nine Nine Rhino would have died if I had the worm in front anyway. Watch this. Snake was definitely the better choice. Man, I'm so smart. Four more to go. Also, no more crickets in the roster. What's going on? Is gonna snake the meat bone? Why not? I want to bump up the scorpion a bit. Cupcake could be kind of good to give to a scorpion next turn. I'll do it next turn. Also, where's the crickets? I know I hear them, but there's none in game. Bumping up the scorpion is huge because I think. Three more? Three more trophies to go, three hearts? This is still no more crickets, though. Cupcake for sure to the scorpion. Seven coins left. Give me a fucking cricket. Roll one more time. Cricket, yes! We'll freeze it for next turn. These are both plus twos. Let's give one to the scorpion and one to the worm. Let's go. It's a 917 scorpion! Oh, it's gonna die anyway. That's okay. Aha! We took out their watermelon. So good. I'm so good. Let's see. Hmm. Let's put the cricket here. Give it plus one. Salad bowl for sure. I don't want the melon perk. I don't need it. 
Could be advantageous to put the bunny here. That way, if there is a crocodile, it won't take out the rabbit. And I'd rather have the rabbit closer to the front. That way, because it does have the chili perk. Freeze this apple. Mushroom could be good to give to the snake in case it somehow dies. Because nobody else has like a good perk. Because the snake is already pretty low in comparison to everybody else. And if the snake dies randomly, it could be good to have another body in there. End turn. If I don't get crickets next turn, I'm gonna be so upset. Yeah, see? Crocodile, deal eight rock damage to the last enemy. It would have taken out the rabbit for sure. Definitely swapping it was good. <gasps> the scorpion! I'm, I have nine trophies. I need a cricket. I legitimately need a cricket. I'm not unfreezing the rabbits. I need to beef up the scorpion. Now, I have six coins left. That means I have three rolls to get a cricket. Give me the cricket, please. That is all I ask of you. I've come so far. I'm at nine trophies. I have three hearts left. Just give me a cricket. I don't want to win if I don't have a cricket. Fuck. Dude! I guess I should have had one of these slots open that way I could get a chocolate bar. Okay, now I gotta rearrange to lose. How do I lose? Let's see. Snake in the front. Because I have three hearts left. I know I'll win. Snake at the front. Rabbit here. Scorpion in the back. Because I'm stupid. End turn. If I don't get a cricket next turn, I'm going to flip my shit. Oh, I might still win. <laughs> No! This is not what I wanted. Really? That's the furthest I've gotten with a cricket, too. Man. Well, guys. Like I said, I gotta do go do shit later. So, I think I'm gonna wrap stream here for today. Short stream! Short stream, I know. But tomorrow, we're gonna do the fan favorite Mario Kart. You guys know your drills, so you can farm your little jokes, test your stand-up, and maybe get on a little tic-tac click. Tic-tock clip. That'll be tomorrow. Probably like 10 or 11 a.m. You guys know the drill. 
Man, I'm so annoyed at that shit. Nobody's lives in no raid. Okay, let's get some real music on. I'm done with that. Dude, I was so close to that tier 3 win. I'm disgusted right now. But guys, thank you for watching. I hope you guys had fun and enjoyed today. Today's stream will be edited to a YouTube video, so look forward to that on Friday. So make sure you're at least subscribed to the YouTube channel. I have done an entire year of weekly videos. So if you can't watch every stream, or if you just want the meat and potatoes, watch the YouTube highlights. Gaming channel coming soon. Smile. And before I go, today's stream is presented to you by peaceandart.myshopify.com. All the artwork you see back here is mine. If you purchase a painting, I'll paint it on stream just for you. I also have lino prints available. You can get color or black only version, so you can get the whole set or, excuse me, the single cards. We have a 10% chance of getting a holo. New artwork coming out Friday or next week. We'll see. But yeah, that's the plan. So plan for the next few days. Tomorrow, Mario Kart, obviously. Oh, you guys are Mario Kart stream. Friday, it might be an art stream on either this channel or the art channel. So make sure you're following Peace and Art on Twitch. Or it's Peace and Underscore Art, I believe. Yeah, it's Peace and Underscore Art. Click the banner. And if you're watching the VOD channel, I'll put the year wrong. Click the link if you're watching the VOD. But yeah, there we go. And you know what? I know today is, or not today, this weekend is Memorial Day weekend, right? Or Labor Day weekend or something? So you know what? You know what? Maybe I will finally do the promised Dress to Impress stream. Ah, uh -huh. I think I've, I know what I want to do for that stream. The concept is nobody steal. DTI, but I play it totally wrong. That's all you're gonna get. That'll probably probably be this weekend if I can stream, which honestly I will because everything's gonna be closed because holiday anyway. So yeah, that's the plan for the rest of the week. Once again, thank you all for watching any Shadow Surfers. I hope you guys enjoyed today. And thank you to the two individuals who followed when I was offline. We had Blaze and Rowlet and Shoyer. <laughs> But thank you for the follows. I will see you guys tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your day. And like I said, go subscribe to the YouTube. New panel, new video out now if you want to watch it. I played Poker Rogue until he lost. But let's play. Hopefully my voice will be better tomorrow. I really do hope so. Okay. Bye guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Here, I'll play the outro song now because I gotta get ready to go. Any last words for me, guys? Absolutely anything as long as it's appropriate. You know the drill. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow with Mario Kart! Have a good one. Bye.